pretty. Oh, oh. I'm kind of shocked that I'm not like shit face right now. The alcohol is hitting me. Okay, I don't do this every single night, but most most of the time I do this. And he was like trying to like sleep with me, and I warned him like, you know, you can't keep treating me this way. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to another Friday mukbang. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it's Friday already. I look forward to the weekend. Although I do work at home, I do look forward to the weekend. And I can't believe it's Friday already. Because every Monday I'm like, oh my god, this week's gonna be long, blah blah blah. But it's Friday. As usual, Friday mukbang means surpa, aka drinking mukbang. And for today's drink, this looks so yummy and it's such a pretty bottle. So I have Nigori aka Cloudy Sake and this one is pineapple flavor. I've seen the Sakura a lot which I've tried before. I've never seen this one before. Oh, 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 okay. We good. I have some Sunde, um, aka black, Korean black intestines sauce of sausages some salt and I have some clams these are short neck maybe and I have some oysters um and I have this spicy sauce this is just pepper paste uh pepper paste with vinegar and some corn syrup and just so let's try one eggs I just boiled them nothing special That's pretty. Happy Friday. Mm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Wow, I thought I was, I was actually really worried that it might taste too pineapple-y. You know Milk Kiss? The soda, like a cloudy milk soda. It's like that. If you don't like the alcohol flavor too much, this is actually really good. Okay, and this one is the oyster. My gosh, I purposely picked out like a big ass shells and look how tiny it is. Mm. Mm. Of course, I need some carbs. Some salt. Mm. Mm. Wow, this is so good. Mmm. Oh, 9%. Okay, I could do 9%. <laughs> it's cool because in the back, it shows you like the rating of how it should be served. Like the serving temperature, it's mo it has three stars if you serve it chilled. Room temperature, one star. One star. And warm and hot, it's zero stars. So it's basically, I guess it's basically recommending you to serve it chilled. Like, oh, look how big this one is. Oh my goodness, this one's huge. Wow, this is gonna get me so messed up because it just goes down so easily. You know, I recently found out this too. You know how I was so used to eating this sundae with the salt. But I heard some places in Korea use this chochang. Mm. 
This is so, so good. But if I do have to pick, I think I like the salt better. Let's do some. These oysters are pretty good, but I think I like the clam better. It's a lot more sea-like. Mm. It almost tastes very yogurt. Yogurt. <laughs> When Tong and I uh, visited Oregon, we stayed. Did we stay? It was Oregon, right? Oh, I don't remember. No, it wasn't Washington. I think it was Oregon. We stayed like this is like when we were like kind of returning back to you know home, and we stopped by this beach to catch razor clams. And <laughs> first dig, we like cracked one. Second dig, Tong actually caught it, and then most of the time when we saw like a little like a hole, like a breathing air, like breathing hole, it was like these like shrimp looking things. And I looked it up, and those are edible, and like it's like supposed to be very like delicious. <laughs> It reminded me of those days back in Korea because I came from Incheon, you know Incheon International Airport that's like right by the ocean. I grew up there. So we went to go catch clams and crabs and all that. Yeah, you just don't know what you have until you don't have it anymore. Because we used to go a lot. And I thought it was like a common thing and just daily average lifestyle. Until I moved to America. <laughs> well, I guess it's not every part of America, but being in Midwest... That's, I think that's one thing that I missed a lot in the beginning. Because I love seafood. And I remember going to this market area. They had like a huge pot, like a sot, kamasot. Huge pot. Mussels. And the broth, oh my gosh. It was just, just mussels and probably a little bit of seasoning, but that tasted so good. Maybe I'm so, that's why I like, I'm so hooked to it. Mm. Today kind of feels a little stressful for me. I've been just running around a lot since the morning. Like nothing big, it's just out of ordinary for me. And, you know, just one of those days where, would you rather have something but it's like not good or would you just not rather you know, not have it all kind of a thing that's kind of how I feel right now
let's say for example you go to college and you really really miss Korean food there's one place where they sell Korean food but it tastes like shit would you rather have it or not at all because it tastes like shit <laughs> that's kind of how I feel right now hmm. This one is fat. Mm. I actually don't feel drunk at all. So I'm kind of scared that's going to hit me. So I don't know if you guys ever had this ramen before. This is a uh, K Bongle Bongle noodles. <clears throat> I'm kind of shocked that I'm not like shit faced right now. I mean, nine percent might be low to some people, but for me, it's just it's pretty high. And I got some more. And then It tastes like yogurt too. I don't think I'm gonna finish the bottle. Mm. I'm actually very proud of myself. Oh, that was so, so seafood-like, so much. My neck's been hurting, and that goes for both tongue and eye. <laughs> so I have this like, like a hot and icy patch. Oh my gosh, it's a lifesaver for sure. Alcohol is hitting me.
I feel like this is very Korean in me. I feel like <clears throat> I have to end every like meal in ramen with ramen. <laughs> Oh yeah, that alcohol is kicking right in. I really, really like this lemon. You guys have one of those things where your significant other like notices when you stop doing it i've been doing this for a while now but okay i don't do this every single night but most, most of the time i do this i really like to fall asleep holding tong's hand i don't know what it is it's just so comforting so i always have to like hold my hold my hand with his and i will always like lay down like this and then he will give me his hand right there are some nights where he's like, when I don't do it, he's like, why aren't you asking? Don't you have to hold my hand? And I'm like, I'm okay. <laughs> and last night, I was like kind of upset. I was really annoyed with him yesterday because like, um, I had to go pick him up after his work. It was pretty late and I, I understand work was hard. It was busy. You know, it's just a lot of stuff went wrong for him that day. So I understand. But you can't, you can't like vent to me. But you can't think of me, treat me like a punch bag, right? I kind of felt that way. Like, he, like, kind of lashed out a lot of things to me. Like, not to me, but, like, on me. Like, as if I did those things to him. So I was just getting really upset. And I warned him, like, you know, I'm not your punch bag. You know, you can't keep treating me this way. And he's like, whatever. And it continued. And I was really upset. So I was like, whatever, I'm just going to go to bed. And then... I think he felt bad, so he was like trying to cuddle with me and blah blah blah, I'm like, I'm like, get away. And then he's like, <laughs> I'm like, no. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> I'm like, I am not holding your hand. I don't want to hold your hand, whatever. And he didn't, like, he didn't leave me alone, so I was like, okay, I'll just hold your hand. I just fell asleep. I knew he felt bad. Okay, this man loves his pillow, okay? Like, his pillow and my pillow is different. And whenever, like, I'm on his side, like, falling asleep, he will, like, he doesn't care if I'm sleeping or whatever, he will take it out. <laughs> and then I'll switch back to some, like, my other one. He loves his pillow. And yesterday, I was, like, you know, I was, like, I had my, my own pillow, so I was sleeping, like, trying to fall asleep. And he would, like, forget his pillow, and then he would, like, try to, like, sleep with me using one pillow that's mine. So I was, like, this, this bitch. <laughs> 